In today's video, so you need to hold this out, girl. I have a little project that I've been trying to work on, but just didn't have the time to do it. So today, I have the time to do it. Just kind of throw everything underneath here, like your cleaning supplies, um, your dishwasher supplies, gloves, soap, candles, whatever you name it. It's it's underneath here. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna get started with this project. So don't laugh at my under kitchen cabinet area. Hmm. There it is. Swoop, there it is. So let's just start pulling everything out, see what we got in here, shall we? cleaning supplies here got some sponges right there got some little extra doo -doo dyes over there my candle collection I did not even know it was this much um, I have a little gardening kit that I was gonna do one year and it didn't grow like I wanted it to some essential oils some decor vases or vases as you want to call them and some uh, dishwasher pods and I have a big basket that was underneath there as well so pretty much just organizing um, I already kind of took out what I didn't need which wasn't much There's the space that we're working with underneath we don't have very much space underneath here because we have that rain soft um, like filter filtration system um, that's part of it there and over on the other side also so don't have much room underneath here so it has to be cleared out to look a little bit neater and functional so that's what we're gonna do all right let's go first things first I have this little container that I'm gonna use to put the remainder Cascade um, pods, and it's not that many in here. So for space, for right now, I'm just gonna eliminate the big container and put them in here. often our essential oils so I just throw them in this little container here that I have I'm just using what I got already sometimes it's not necessary to go out and buy containers for something that you're really not gonna see so um, putting them in this glass um, base here um, these are gonna be in the front area um, definitely want to make sure I have my fire extinguisher in the front area as well. So that extra vase is like this because, you know, hey, a girl gets some roses sometimes and she needs a vase or a vase to put her stuff in. So you need to hold this out, girl. Put this in the back under. So now with the sponges. That I have. So you know, it looks like I already kind of have a sample bag. And 
and I have my thing in it already. So I'm just gonna add the rest of them in the sandwich bag too. It's creating space, you guys. You don't need a big hard container for these. Just put them in a the sandwich bag and you call it the day. Cause it'll fit in like, like a book. Like it'll just slide in. some left seats that I have not used either so I'm gonna hold these out when is the next time I can use these and then I got this little, little tech savvy type of thing I got this from I think it was like Shein so it clean your blinds do the So yeah, we got the candles, fire extinguisher, essential oils, soap, vases, <laughs> and whatever else you see is in here. And then we got our cleaning supplies that I use daily, right in that little basket there. So we are done. That wasn't so bad though. And now I just need to place these items somewhere. And these two. And that's my little trash pile. And my gardening stuff. And these are old rags that I'm going to replace and put in new ones. this dirty oven I think I've only cleaned it once when we moved in we're going on year three in this house doesn't look too bad but it could look better okay, okay. Yeah. you can see through it I'm gonna be using easy off Film a free oven cleaner. that on the camera but those little lines are still there it's gotta sit a little bit longer in my opinion
Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!